Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I attempted to paint the Starry Night with oil paints and I think the results were pretty good. Yeah, so let's just jump right into it. In the actual Starry Night, which I'll put a photo right here, you can see that the background is made up of tiny streaks of paint when with the time that I had and the materials that I was using with the oil paints, everything just blended in. So I decided that I was going to make a more blended version of the Starry Night. So I started by sketching it out on a canvas, which we will see right here. After I sketched out the Starry Night on my canvas, I wanted to paint the black figure on the Starry Night. And I was wondering, in EFI class, did you guys ever have like those teachers who decided that you would to analyze those paintings and write like a paragraph on what it was? They always like wanted us to look at the Starry Night and answer, what do you think that black figure in the Starry Night was? So comment down below what you thought it was or think it was now. So after that, I decided to start on the background and that was really fun to do because I added the first color of paint and then the darker color of paint and started on the wind. Okay, so I just finished doing the sketch and doing the black part of the painting right there. So that's how it's looking so far. I need to do a little bit more of cleaning up and then I'm going to start on the sky. Yeah, so let's do that. Once I did that, I ran into a little problem. I put black on the wind streaks of the Starry Night to kind of outline it. And as you can see from the Starry Night, there is no black in those wind streaks. And yeah, I fixed it later, but that was definitely a big issue that I had when I was painting. I just finished with the sky background and I think that I might need to add more white right here where there is the gray, but it's coming along pretty well. I need to do the yellow over here and the moon and the rest of the sky, and then I'll start in the mountains. And I think I might do something else other than paint for the buildings because it's gonna be hard to paint those tiny buildings because I don't have any really small brushes. Yeah, so let's get started on fixing this background, the rest of the background, and maybe even start them out. There is a bug on there. Okay, let's get into it. Let's pause the time lapse right here. So after that, I went inside to go clean my canvas and my brushes. And I figured out that the, a wasp had gotten into the house because when I opened the door, it flew in. And we spent hours trying to get that wasp out. I don't even know where it went because I just gave up. And here's a video from that. 
some peace and quiet. It was right over my head. Oh no, it's crawling. Okay, it. so now I did this part down here of the background and the I changed like the wind part, I added more color. And of course the stars, it's a little messy, so I'll have to go back and fix it because it's my, it's my second day of working on this and the background's pretty much done. Um, I think I'm gonna do the hills with paint and then um, maybe the, I might do the houses with paint. I also might do them with like colored pencil or marker because they're just small houses and it's gonna be, I, I'm going to have to clean that up a lot if I try and do it with paint. So yeah, let's just start the hills and see where we go. painting the starry night and hopefully I'll finish it today as long as nothing goes wrong I'll be able to finish and upload the video today yeah so let's just jump right into it I did some of the houses and I finished the mountains off camera so now I'm on the last step of the foreground so I'm going to time lapse that and then we'll do the reveal Let's stop right here again. You can see me in the time lapse getting up and running away two times. That's because there are carpenter bees flying all around me. And if you don't know what a carpenter bee is, it looks like a normal bee, but bigger. And I just, instead of just trying to paint through it, I just got up. And it seems like a short amount of time on the time lapse, but I was really standing there for like five minutes, which is a precious painting. Let's jump right back into the time lapse. And that brings us to right here, the reveal of the final Starry Night painting. Here it is, you guys, the final Starry Night painting. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you would like to see next. I can paint another famous painting or whatever you want, so just comment that down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!